Family in mourning after a Utah woman went missing in Alaska. She was found dead, allegedly at the hand of her husband. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Brian Malay. And I'm Mallory Moore. Her name is Soraya Hildebrand, 21 years old. And after days of searching, she was found dead on Thursday afternoon. Her husband has been arrested for her alleged murder. And Soraya and her family, they lived in Utah for years. Emma Riley spoke with her mother tonight about who her daughter was, Emma. Yeah, Soraya was a part of the Alaska National Guard, but beyond that, she was a daughter, a sister, and a friend. Her mom described her as a ray of sunshine and someone who loved taking care of others. She was just this amazing human. Soraya Hildebrand had only been in Alaska for seven months. She moved there to be with her husband and to be a combat medic in the Alaska National Guard. Her mom says one of Soraya's favorite parts of being in the National Guard were the friendships and connections she made. Hearing all the little stories that people send me about their memories about her and pictures and it's been really hard to see all that but also like very beautiful to see like all of these different the relationship she had and how loved she was by everybody. She says it was Soraya's husband who reported her missing on the night of August 7th. She was last seen leaving for work from her home in Anchorage on August 6th at around 10 a.m. A few days later, her body was found and her husband, 21-year-old Zarius Hildebrand, was booked in Anchorage jail for two counts of murder and one count of tampering with evidence. Her family is now seeking justice for Soraya. I'm going to jail. I'm having to pay for his crime for murdering my kid. Meredith says she had a special bond with her daughter and they enjoyed being adventurous together. Well, I had her when I was 18, so it was, oh, it was just kind of like we grew up together. And we've always been super close, and I don't know, now we just had so much fun together. On Monday, Soraya's friends and family are hosting a vigil for her in Anchorage. For more information on that and her family's GoFundMe, you can find that on our website, KUTV.com. Reporting live in Salt Lake City, Emma Riley, KUTV 2 News.